Okay, let's uh, demo the Behold the TRD DS1 3SS gimbal. You can see the pitch model, the pitch arm can movable. You can pour in and pour out. For the Canon 5D3 heavy camera, the arm we need to pour out. That's the camera, whole camera, the weight stand move down something. That would be great for the camera. Okay, you can see the arm side have a two screw. Now we adjust uh, that's the uh, rolling model. You can see the arm is adjustable. You can see pull out, pull in the screw moved. Okay, that's for adjust the rolling balance for the whole camera. Okay, right now we see the we see the yaw model. That's for yaw position balance adjustment. You can see the arm, it's movable. You can pull out, yes. You can pull in, that's right. That's very important model. That's uh, very important yaw balance adjustment arm. That's great. That's the DS1 Behold TRD 3SS gimbal. The whole gimbal looks very good quality. Okay, that screw can adjustable and tied. Okay, that's the screw for you to tie. Okay, the back side you can see. Okay, that's great. That's the screw is for you tied the camera mental plate. Okay, that's the joint stick. Mm -hmm. yes, you can see the joint stick at the power, power button, the green button. Yes, that's power on. Okay, you can, you can see that's the newest handle. Quality, the CNC quality is very good. Okay, the back side is the battery holding inside. And a three piece battery inside. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's screwing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh, we test the Canon 5D3 with 28 mm lens. Okay, that's the Beholder DS1 3SS gimbal. Okay, let's install the camera into the gimbal. Okay. Back. Bottom side have a screw. We need to lose some. That camera can go inside. Okay. Now the camera moving. Okay. We now first we adjust the pitch balance. Okay. Pitch balance that we need to tie the bottom screw. Okay, you can see the arm, the pitch model arm is adjustable. Like the Canon 5D3 camera is very heavy, so the arm we need to move down. Okay, after the camera is balanced, we need to tie the both sides screw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move the camera. Okay, right now we adjust the rolling balance. You can see the right side a little heavy, so we can adjust the rolling models two side screw, loose the screw, and then adjust the arm. We take out some arm. Okay, let's move out. Okay, right now left side and right side looks balanced. Okay, let's let's move in it. Okay, okay, right now looks okay. The rolling balanced. So we tied the both screw, the bottom screw and the top screw. Okay, you can move the camera to see. The camera is almost balanced. Okay, right now we are doing the balance for the yaw position. You can see right now, you can see not balanced. The front side is heavy. Okay, we need to pull out the yaw model. The yaw model. You can see the arm. That's the arm. It's adjustable, you know. 
so we lose the school and the pull out some okay right now now we see the yaw position you can see the yaw position still a little heavy the right side so we need to still need to loose the school and uh, pull out the arm a little right now let's see okay right now it's, mm, almost but let's adjust a little again yaw position balance is very important balance for the whole gimbal working a lot of people you can see now okay mm -hmm. that looks almost okay the yaw balanced we can tie the both school and then recheck the pitch model and the rolling model two side school and the yaw model two side two school we need to tie the school and make sure very stable make sure the school okay let's power on the gimbal okay right now we are testing okay okay join stick right now we test okay lock position okay that's a lock position they press one a pr quick press join stick straight down you can lock repress again okay let's go into the foreign mode again mm -hmm. hold the joint sticker will push a little longer two seconds okay then we go into the half foreign mode press again go back okay that's the half foreign mode mm -hmm. press again Okay, let's start the gimbal in this position. Mm -hmm. uh, DS1 have a lot of different working position. You can start the gimbal in any position. Okay, let's go into another position. Any position like you can start the gimbal. Okay, right now, okay, let's start the gimbal, okay? You can see the gimbal still working like this way because the customer have a different uh, position to take photo you know okay right now go into this position and test the gimbal okay let's go down okay okay let's power on like this position Looks good. That's very good. The behold the DS1 3S gimbal. Everything works fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's see the gimbal. You can see the arm. This left, left side arm is we call the yaw position arm. You can see right now we adjust the yaw position balance. You can see the camera, the whole camera move forward. That means the yaw position didn't adjust well. You can see, go forward. So we need to adjust the yaw model arm. Let's pull out some, okay? Let's lose the screw. Yeah, yaw model have two screw on the side. Okay, let's pull out. You can see that we pull out. Okay, we tie the little, then we check again. Okay. Now, okay, you can see the whole camera yaw position still little move right side, like front side. So we still need to loose the, loose the screw first. Then we pull out the arm little. Let me take close to the arm. Okay, we, we move out some. Right now, still almost okay. You can see the yaw position. 
almost adjust okay now we tied the, the jar model side to school okay then we check we check the camera almost balanced pitch loading all okay now and we just adjust little the pitch and the loading balance is much easier to adjust you know. only the yam balance little difficult okay now it's okay let's start the gimbal okay you can see the gimbal works good works very smooth because a lot of user face some difficulty for adjust the yaw balance so the gimbal works sometimes vibration okay let's power off we can start this way okay let's power on like this position we can power on the gimbal okay move the position you can see the gimbal works very smooth that's great. Thank you so much.